on Patreon today. We're hitting our first Stevie Wonder record ever, Inner Visions. Go check it out on there. We're also interviewing the producer for that today as well. If you want to leave some questions, head on Patreon, less than a cup of coffee. We'll see you there. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life on this fine Wednesday. Well, it's a great fine Wednesday and first of the month. Now, you just saw from whatever intro we had, I haven't recorded it yet, but Stevie Wonder Record, hitting it for the first time, super excited. We figured what better way to start than the Yardbirds with Jeff Beck. The song is Heart Full of Soul. Freaking We dope. have like flirted with the idea, so much foreplay, with the idea, <laughs> with the idea yeah. of hitting a Yardbird song. It yeah. just blows my mind how we've waited so long. Like we, We've come so close like so many times to hitting this song in particular. I don't think you can say uh, foreplay and come so close that <laughs> soon in conjunction. I think we need to have less of that energy. I mean, when you have Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, like when you have all these great guitarists in one place, it just gets to be a hard lot. to avoid. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Uh, Heartful Soul, really excited. Uh, let's just do it. Ooh, yes. Eric Clapton, too. Yeah, the perfect amount. Just one guy on stage. Sick and hot and lonely. Deep in dark despair. Oh. Every single song in this session has been a fleeting moment for me, dude. Every single god dang darn song, dude. God <laughs> Every dang single one. Darn. Ah! Dang also wasn't a bad word, though. You didn't have to. <laughs> I was feeling feelings, dude. It's all right. It's a Georgia in you to be like, oh. dang darn. Sorry, I didn't mean to say dang. Can't say that. <laughs> oh, what, what are y'all we doing up here, dude? Dude, I don't know. It's a good question. God, so it's a good. perfectly phrased question. Now, do we know who the guitarist was for this one? I think all of them. Uh, looking it up on the interwebs, it says this was the first single that Jeff Beck replaced Eric Clapton on guitar. Ooh. Yeah. Which, very cool guitar tone. It's probably got such a dirty lick. Right? Very ripping. And the solo was cool, too. It's it's interesting because we just hit the uh, Jeff Beck song last week, Beck's Bolero, and it, it makes sense. He's, he's like a... You can tell kind of like his transition a little bit through time. Mm -hmm. um, and somebody pretty close to us was a huge Jeff Beck fan and let us know like basically Jeff Beck in every era kind of, he was one of those guitarists that evolved pretty consistently yep and I love that that you can kind of hear that in both songs so just a really really cool I, I loved how intense the guitar line was like felt almost Zeppelin-esque which Jimmy Page I guess also in the yard but just really cool yeah I, I just think it's crazy how because he solos great but he's also such a master of melody mm -hmm. like with his licks yeah like they're very much written with that in the forefront of minds like that but also at the same time like following the cool following the fun 
and just the tone like it just blends so freaking good yeah my favorite one of my favorite parts of the song besides his guitar was specifically like the ooze that happened in the mm. background when he goes through those high notes because it it just really made that note shine to me and there's like way more reverb on the ooze. it was just cool also i love how there are certain points with that exact part where he, it would, he would end on like an like a e like, like yes. an e vowel but then they would just keep like the oh uh. like, yeah i thought that just sounded so freaking cool too yeah, because it, it's like that's a creative decision, and it's easy to go. Should we just do what he's singing? Like, no, we're just doing. It's just a part we're putting in there, and I think it works really, really well. Also, the drums are cool. I love the 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 rhythm of the acoustic guitar when yeah. it's doing the chorus. It's like you're riding a horse, bro. Yeah. What are we rating it? Three, two, one, A. a. Mm. <sighs> Consensus. I was so close to going to A plus. That still might happen through the months and years, but. I don't know that that felt right for it felt right for now present moment speaking to myself there, there is a, a point early in the song where i was like dang i feel like the the like the crash or like whatever symbol like, it was like really tinny or washing like mm -hmm. almost too much and i wasn't huge on it but like then when the riff came back and then it and then that reintroduced itself it somehow kind of like made sense to me after that it's also how, how do you feel about it i felt there was a little bit of tinniness but i also know a lot of the songs from that era kind of have that and I, I again i think it's like a limitation of speakers at the time like they were probably doing it more for this sounds good on what people are listening to it on also i like that they kind of leaned into it and it wasn't a thing where like it barely got through in a way yeah. where it's like noticeable it's like if you lean into it, it's almost somehow almost less obtrusive i can see that for in sure a funky way cool to have hit like the first yardbird songs but like for us because again we've heard their name tossed out a bunch so many great guitarists have been in this band like they definitely have the bingo of great guitarists and they've won easy so uh yeah i'm really interested to hit more like i'm curious how their sound was different with clapton and page like yeah. i would be very interested in those differences was page in at this point still i don't know i don't know enough I, about I th him i think jimmy because they eventually became zeppelin at some point like people came in and out and then you know you got i don't like think they became zeppelin stuff. i think i think zeppelin like uh toured as the yardbirds for like the, one of their first tours like, but i think his... everybody else had left i think they just yeah, yeah, used yeah. the name yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah, yeah, yeah so... i think jimmy was but that means jimmy probably never left so he might have been at the end, but I don't, was he the- Clapton, I, Clapton left and Jeff came in to replace Clapton. But I thought, I guess for some reason, I thought Paige replaced uh, Jeff. Maybe. I don't know. Give us the history of this because Googling is easy, but I, I feel like- a, I want to uh, hear, hear from people who know. Yeah, I want a, the paternal, like, YouTube I hear from moms someone, and dads. I want from someone who was there. Mom, mom, or it's actually grandparents. I want the YouTube grandparents to tell us exactly. What happened on stage? Was there beef? Was Let there beef? Know. We need to know. Let us know and we'll uh, see <laughs> so silly thanks so much for watching guys hope you had a grand old time uh hopefully enjoying this video if you want to catch more videos of ours there will be a suggested video right here if you want to go on the patreon support your boys plus a cup of coffee and see some also good videos that we can't be here on youtube that'll be here see you